within the activities module, you can actually organize all that information, um, attach the students to the particular activity, but then actually send out permission and payment requests to the parent app. Um, and really that parent experience is so easy because it's all in one spot. So they just go through the permission, go through the payment all in one. That's Brianna Keyes, Senior Sales Executive at Central, talking about streamlining permissions and payment using the activities module. This interview covers Central from the teacher experience and was originally recorded in front of a live Zoom audience. Joining Brianna is Cassie Martin, Head of Sales. This is the second part of my discussion with Cassie and Brianna, covering some frequently asked questions. Topics include making the switch to Central, how it replaces other systems, and some details about the wellbeing, profiles, and activities modules. My name is Colin Klupik, and it's my pleasure to share this second half of the conversation with you now. Let's pick up from where we left off. Let's say that you've been using another system. You, didn't, you weren't just sort of coming in and you had to hit the ground running. Is it radically different from the way other systems work? Would you describe it as intuitive to pick up as well? Yes, I think... Um... The way Central works is it, it you have your role and it, it, it knows who you are, who your classes are, um, and some of the you know the key functions that you need to do. So as a classroom teacher, I needed to mark the role, I need to record marks, and I might need to enter some you know some observations that I make about a student um, throughout the day. And all of those links are really easy to get to. You can have them pinned on your dashboard and you can go to them directly. But also if I was to open up um, either my dashboard or looking in the marking the role, it's already using the timetable information to identify that I'm the classroom teacher and currently I should be teaching year nine science. So it's gonna surface that role up for me so that I can just you know simply click on and then and go through and mark that role directly. Um, and then just little things like the students' photos there, so I can see who should be in front of me. You know, if Tommy said, yes, he's here, but he looks completely different, um, that's going to really sort of, you know, empower me as well through the in the day. Well, I do actually have a question that's come through from Shana, and I hope that I get the uh, pronunciation correct on all of these names. Uh, Thank you for your question. Cassie, I'm going to leave this question with you as well. Now, this is actually related a little bit to integrations, which is coming up in a, uh, an interview, which we have coming up in two weeks. But let's just keep this high level. Can Central replace multiple other programs? Yeah, so I guess there's, um, there's, a, there's, there's um, over 35 modules and they all look at different aspects of the school running. Um, and I guess today we're probably focused on the classroom teacher and what that looks like. Um, but there are th there are modules that look after your excursions from beginning to end. There's a module that has all of your, your database with all of your students, staff and parent information. There's messaging, there's, um, there's finance, um, there's, yeah, there's over 35 different modules that, you know, may replace a couple of different systems that you have running in your school. Okay, and uh, another question which I have specifically about a module, this is not a Q&A question, but it's related to what you just said and it comes up frequently in conversation. And I'm gonna pass this one back over to Brianna and this is about well-being. Now, well-being is obviously a very important topic uh, in education generally and many schools have a very specific way of approaching well-being. What sort of depth can we expect from the well-being module and how does that help you manage well-being issues with students? You mentioned just before that you can look up quickly whether someone's going to have an allergic reaction to a bee sting or something like that, which is a kind of a health issue, but shifting more now to the well-being, um, what sort of depth can we expect? Yeah, and I think um, well-being and reports probably are our two biggest strengths. Um, so well-being is completely configurable and I think that's really important in a software when you're looking at well-being because some schools have similar policies and processes when it comes to well-being but there might be different follow-up actions it might be you know different threshold based notifications as well so it's really really important to have um, that option to actually configure the system yourself um, obviously if you have access to that as well so um, when you're looking at those categories that you have at your school so or colors or wordings or anything like that it's really configurable so I think that's something that we often see when speaking to schools that they're like oh okay so we actually like, we can change the colors as well um, or we can change the word detentions to um, reflection time or 
or something really minimal like that can actually be really, really important to our schools. Again, there's another uh, FAQ style question that comes up and I'm going to pass this one back to Cassie because I think this relates to something that you were mentioning just before. I'd like to just dive in again on the uh, configurability of Central and and the depth that we can experience. Now, you've uh, mentioned previously uh, in other discussions that when you walk into a parent interview, sometimes you just need to have all the information and you now can do that and feel fully informed. Can you describe a situation where that's happened for you? Yeah, so I guess parent-teacher interviews, um, as a high school teacher, you know, you've got five to six different classes and, and, you know, 30 students in each of those. There's a lot of students um, that you're interacting with on a day-to-day basis and lots of things happen throughout the day for that student as well that you may or may not be aware of. Um, One of the common things is you'd sit down with a parent at the parent-teacher interview and they'd ask you about something. So you might have seen a certain behaviour in your classroom and you want to have that discussion and the teacher wants to know, is that something that happens in other classes? Or what are other teachers around the school doing to to manage that? Or, you know, has particular excursions brought, you know, taken them out of class um, quite a number of lessons? The Profiles module in Central allows you to bring all that information together. So it brings across all of their attendance information, um, all of their well-being, excursions they've participated in. I can flick back and see what comment was written in science three years ago or what grades that child um, you know, received last semester. It just brings all of it into that one spot. So as a, as a teacher talking to the parent, you feel informed and you're empowered to be able to have that discussion and to answer those questions and, and have it all on that screen in front of you so that you can see it. Or you might want to share, you know, this is what the attendance is looking like. We can see that, you know, it's 80% in science, but in maths, it's 99%. Is that perhaps, you know, a strength of that student or is there something going on? Um, for that student that might, you know, you might be able to offer some explanation around. So, yeah, so Central, yeah, the Profiles Modules is this really nice um, area that collates all that information and just empowers you as a teacher um, to keep you informed. Now, Brianna, I'm actually going to draw on some of your PE experience here because when I think of PE, I, I instinctively think about activities. And uh, the activities module of Central also provides a, quite a lot of configurability. How can that really assist people who do a lot of activities or who, do, who teach subjects that involve a lot of activities? How can that make school life easier for them? Yeah, and I think this one um, really actually the most value that the teacher gets from it is really that integration with the finance product because you know, as a someone organizing an, an event, really the organization is not the hardest bit. It's making sure you've got the permission slips, who's paid, who hasn't, who's going to be picked up from the event, you know, by their grandparent or going to not come on the bus, but come on the bus on the way back or all these complex things that are going to be happening throughout the day. Um, so within the activities module, you can actually organize all that information Um, attach the students to the particular activity, but then actually send out permission and payment requests to the parent app. Um, And really that parent experience is so easy because it's all in one spot. So they just go through the permission, go through the payment all in one. And then for me as the teacher, I can actually see that in real time and I can see, okay, they've given permission, but then they've stopped and they haven't given payment or vice versa, you know, what, what, what's happened with this particular student so that it doesn't get to the morning of or the day before when I'm calling accounts or calling finance and they're calling me and some parents sending me a text and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so I think that's definitely a big one. And, and we've also just released our customised questions, which was kind of born, at, born out of a bunch of feedback that we had from schools around really wanting some more customized um, questions like, you know, maybe they're getting picked up from the event or who they're getting picked up by, or um, maybe if there's like a meal at the event, what are they having? Are they having the tuna sandwich, the Vegemite sandwich, the cheese sandwich, all those things that are related (laughs) to that particular activity, which can be a long list of probably 20 questions. Um, But that can also be linked back to the activity. So whoever's organizing that event can actually see 
all of that information once they go out. So it's really quite nice um, to have everything kind of integrated into one so that you're not trying to follow up all the different staff members. Yeah, sure. To get that clear picture. That concludes this interview with Cassie and Brianna on Central and the teacher experience. Keep a lookout for our other interviews on topics including implementing Central and managing the change process, and integrations and making Central work with other systems you may currently be running. For more about Central and what it can do for your school, subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon to get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colin Klupik and we'll see you in the next one.